Christian church attempts to live by a sociological model called critique by community. They believe very firmly in living by example and to a degree letting people decide what they want to learn and how they learn, taking the control out of the hands of the teacher and essentially allowing the student to interpret things how they will. Being in relationship in community is very important to the people of Motville Uniting Church, but at the same time they recognise that they are an alternate, separate community, their own subculture if you will. Having said that, they are very much a part of and not apart from the community. They live lives alongside and within the greater community of Motville. Many of them have come from being farmers or seasonal workers in the tourism trade themselves. So they understand how fragile life can be for farmers, governed by the elements, and how difficult it can be to be a seasonal worker when some days and weeks and months tourism just isn't going so well. In ministry, they believe very firmly in being spiritual companions for the journey, coming alongside the people who are going through tough times and walking with them, no matter how hard it might be. They refer to this incarnational ministry as well, really representing Jesus Christ as, as best they can on earth. They very heavily invite participation by the community into what they do. Montville United Church, as a community, doesn't believe they have all the answers and, and is quite willing to listen to outside opinions. They're very encouraging and accepting of different cultural practices and different ways of expressing personal spirituality even though they hold firmly to the gospel of Jesus Christ for themselves. As such, Motville has, Uniting Church has looked at the society around them and realised that family should be their primary ministry metaphor. Motville's primary family structures are as follows. There are farmers who are very hard working from dawn to dusk and family times at an extreme premium, very little uh, disposable time. Retirees who have a lot of disposable time but often move to Motville away from the city and as such they're away from their kids and their grandkids. There's young service industry workers who are quite often single, maybe had the first time away from home. And there are lots of younger families who may be in a family unit but are often away from grandparents. And along with that, of course, there are many divorced families and uh, different forms of broken homes. Because of this, Montreal United Church has, has recognised a real lack of traditional family and a real lack of family support. And so as much as possible, they seek to uh, fill that gap and to express what it means to be the body of Christ as a larger family. Now, what does this mean for the Festival of Lights 2011? Brilliance. Montville United Church would love to be involved in the festival. Their primary aim is to support and engage families, and their catch cry for this is brilliant. Montville United Church have recognised the lack of extended family in Montville, and at the same time recognised that the church should be the body of Christ, a large extended family supporting each other using different gifts to encourage and strengthen and uphold each other. So the church seeks to engage families through the events and activities around their brilliant tent, which is called the Lighthouse. Now in the Mottville community, there is minimal contact between young and old, and the church has recognized, as mentioned, that extended families are fairly non-existent. The Lighthouse's intent is to welcome and connect families to the church, of course, but also to each other to create a wider network of families and connections across the, the greater town and uh, township of Mottville. They also hope to maximise contact and support of the community by inviting them to contribute to presentations themselves and by encouraging use of local products and um, foods that come from the local community to be displayed in the lighthouse itself.